Yeah, just on that, because that's quite interesting, because a lot, like most kids in this country, most boys will grow up wanting to be professional footballers, and you actually got signed for your boy Hilde club, isn't it, in um, Birmingham City? So, yeah, how did that feel, like signing for, for the Blues, and what was kind of the process of you getting signed and you breaking through the academy? Unreal, to be fair. When, he, when I first realised that it was going to happen, I was kind of like, I, I don't think I could have been a happier lad in, in all of in England, really. Um, especially with my dad being a Birmingham fan as well. And then, like, obviously, he's kind of, like, pushing me through to be a Birmingham fan, going down, like, the season ticket when I was younger, going down to Blues games. So, like, my first real memory, like, well, not my first real memory, but, like, memories of, like, going down is, like, watching Birmingham play. And then, since then, I've kind of always wanted... Well, not always, but I've always been a Blues fan. And then it's kind of happened getting scouted with Birmingham. I was at um, first half of like Phoenix Rangers, where I kind of um, got scouted there. And then they released me for some reason. Then, like, a few months later, I played for Calibrook Swifts. And then I got signed up again. And it's kind of... It's, it's, um, what was the question again? I've been grabbing on here. No, I think you've answered it. I was, yeah, yeah. I was talking about how it felt to play for the academy that you dreamed of playing for and how the process is of getting into that academy and yeah so like kind of what's the schedule of an academy player because obviously what how old are you when um oh, when i got into the scholarship yeah so i was a, i think i was picked up at like nine so obviously when you're younger you're a school boy so you kind yeah. of like in in like tuesday night and thursday night then you'll have a game on a sunday and then as you get older, when you get to like 15, 16, it's like you play, you're in a, you come out of school more. So you're in like yeah. Tuesday all day, then Thursday night. So then like you'll have more games on like a Thursday night or like, like Friday night, they arrange that. And then obviously when you get to 16, leaving school, you go on to um, a scholarship, which is like a two year, two year contract where you've got to do obviously football full time then, but you're doing your college work as well. So it's kind of like you're having a backup as well at the same time. So in case it all, if you don't make it, you've yeah. then got a backup in like, um, so we did sports science. So like we kind of got a degree in like how to do that and refing. So we kind of got like a backup plan in case we don't work. And then so it's not, they're not just leaving us out. Um, and then when you know, you're obviously you're full time. So you Monday, well, Monday to Saturday, really, you're, you're in every day. Kind of thing either we, our, ours was Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was college day, so that was all day, and then Thursday, Friday was um building up to the game on Saturday. So it's kind of it prepares you to like how if you do make it, that's how the schedule is going to kind of be for you. And it's not just like you're in for like we, we had to be in at eight, and then some days I didn't get home till like nine o'clock at night. Oh, so I was getting like three buses on me and another ladder and James Fry would oh, get three buses on. So wow. it's not it's not all like what you see on TV, everyone like living like the dream and that it, it, it's them two years of your life is yeah. it's real hard work. It's not hard work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Especially nice. like you clean in a lot as well. You don't realise this, but like you all you ever all you ever seem to be doing is like taking bins out and then cleaning like um a burn. we had a big dome. So we had to pick up all the little bits off the floor. And if like, we didn't do it properly, we were getting um, pulled back and then having to clean it all back up again. It brings discipline to you, like a lot of discipline. I feel like that's what I've, through them two years, I feel like I've, like, timekeeping. Like now, like, I've, I was a bit late to this, but then obviously my heart was going up. I like, it was the worst, it's like the worst thing ever. But I feel like that's been drilled into me as well. Like, yeah. Discipline and trying to make sure you do everything you do is like the best you can be. It's, it's you get a lot, a lot of learn. It, it sets you up for life, really. So that's how I feel like my scholarship went. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting you say that because a lot of people don't, they kind of see probably where you are now and they think of the riches and the fame and he's a professional footballer. They don't see all the graft that goes in early on. And like you said there, the discipline that kind of grows with becoming a sports player and that kind of schedule that you have to work with and follow all like the, the timings and everything. So do you think that's kind of helped you as like a person grow from, because you were having to follow all that kind of regime from a, from a young age? Do you think that's helped yeah. you grow as a person? Yeah, I think it has. I think because you kind of have to learn the hard way of a lot of things as well. There's a lot, yeah. of, especially like going out on loan, that kind of thing. You've, you've got to learn the hard way and you've got to grow up fast. You can't be like, 
there's been times when my mates have been going out on a Friday night and Saturday night, and there's all and I'm like, I can't. So I've got a match tomorrow, I've got like training, you know what I mean? It's, so you, that way you got to grow up and you, you do you do miss out a lot. It's not like you just kind of, you you make up for it because it's hard as football, right? you can do what you want. But like you, you miss out on a lot of things, like birthdays, holidays, because our holidays are at a certain point. So we get like six yeah. weeks. So, And then in that six weeks is when a lot of my mates are in college or like just at the uni. So it's kind yeah. of like, I can't go on our day with them. And I've got to like try and make up for it in other ways and like when I get do get time. But it, it's hard, but like at the same time, it is, there is a lot of benefits from football. Obviously, like you, you get, it's an enjoyable job. It's, yeah. it, it's hard, don't get me wrong. And like you have got to be thick skinned with it because like you do, everyone's having an opinion on you. Like you do get a lot of um, stick from people like on the press or like just fans really on Twitter or something like that. But I feel like you just gotta be thick skinned. I mean, it's kind of the job now. Obviously, it shouldn't be happening, but at the same time, you, you just gotta get on with it. Mm-hmm.